Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. This is Up the Empire. Indeed, let us let us continue to glorious victory in Europe, which is uh, which is actually going relatively well for us. We're doing a very, very, very good job of um, of you know just pushing. Pushing the Germans back on on multiple fronts, and uh, so much so that there are starting to uh, to be a couple of Japanese troops that have floated over to Germany, which is which is all right, I guess. It's not a not a huge threat for us, but it's just something that we need to be you know aware of. Um, got a couple of tanks, a couple of tanks, probably assign them. But hey ho. We're, uh, we're pretty much, I think, almost the entire way of getting Belgium back, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Netherlands is coming back under our control very, very soon. We can totally modify the government. Now, do we want to... Do we want to change free trade? And put it on an expert, fo an export focus? I think maybe... Changing it back to an export focus is quite good. Or maybe, or maybe even on limited exports. Oh, we'll, we'll change it back to, um, to export focus. And that should allow us to, uh, here, this one. Uh, it should allow us, well, unfortunately it's going to mean that we're producing a little bit less. But, uh, in the good news, we should have a little bit more of a surplus of everything, actually. Uh, aluminium, are we currently trading aluminium? Yeah, we've got a little bit of a surplus of it, so we can actually trade it right down. There we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? United States can export up to, yeah, we don't want any of this. We've got a surplus, which is great. Um, imported, do we import anything? Yes, we import steel. So let's change that. Whoa, what the heck? There we go. Uh, yep, let's get rid of steel. Steel imports can just be completely eradicated. Uh, do we import anything else? A little bit of oil. Uh, but that should, in fact, change. There we go. Perfect. Uh, wait, what? Did I fuck it up? Did I, did I fuck it up? Fuck. No, I got it right. We've got a surplus of no oil right now, which is fantastic. Um, one more military factory. I guess we will keep on building these shit. <sighs> All right, well, there we go. Let's just immediately package away one of our factories again, but whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, that should sort itself out, fantastic. Okie doke. We probably actually need to start thinking about some of our oil production. That might be a nice idea. Looks like we're being bombed in uh, in Singapore. Let's go and have a little look at Singapore and see what the hell is going on. Also, yeah, things aren't going so well in India. Hmm. It's not really my responsibility to care about India right now. I mean, it is kind of my responsibility, but, you know. Uh, do we have any anti-air? That's Hong Kong. Singapore, however is down here. Oh, what the heck is happening? Oh, jeez louise. Uh, could we get some land forts or something? That might help. In fact, I don't think... I don't think we took the National Edict of... Da, 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 da. Did we not fortify Singapore? Ah, Singapore strategy. Here. Yes, we didn't do that. We haven't done it yet. What are we currently working on? What are we currently working on? The Royal Tank Regiment? I, I don't really give a shit about that, to be honest. I care about making sure that Singapore is defended. That's what I care about. We can't lose territory of the Empire. That is just that is just not not on, really. Um Can we move you over here? I mean, yeah, sure. Walk all the way through Thailand. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work or Siam, whatever. I, I I really do not think that that's gonna work. 
go, just go and fight. Just go and fight. You might as well. It's probably a good plan. Air wings with no mission. Why have we got an air wing with no mission? We've got an air wing with no planes. That's a problem. Got a couple of fighters spare, but not too, too many. Air superiority pretty much everywhere that it matters, apart from here. So we could probably do with... Uh, yeah, doing this. Reorganize this. And we've currently got 300 fighters or whatever. Let's... Do I have to move this individually? Shit. Shit! I fucked it up. Um... Alright, there we go. Shift click to move 100. That's fantastic. Change this down to 300. So it doesn't get overblown. And 100 fighters here. I honestly think that that is completely fine. You can operate in... Western Germany. Western Germany. And then Western Germany. Fantastic. We just got what we wanted to, by the way. Uh, national focus... We are, of course, going to go for the Singapore strategy. Add three coastal fort. Perfect. We'll do that. Now, let's see what happens over here. Wow. Holy shit. They've got air superiority in a major way. Oh, my God. That is kind of crazy. All right. What is this? Destroyers for bases agreement. Having taken a stance against the Germans, the U.S. appears interested in ensuring Britain stands strong against the German threat. Well, we are standing pretty darn strong, I must hasten to add. They are, however also concerned with the maintaining of their own naval presence in the Atlantic. In exchange for several of our naval bases, they will supply our nation with destroyer ships. The ships have, have been in reserve, but accepting will still strengthen the military bonds between our nation. Um, I don't know. What does this do? What does this do for them? I know that this is a, an option, right? They're, they're going for the Pearl Harbor Gambit. Which is fine. Um, I would love them to go for the fascist menace, but unfortunately, it's not reached that time yet. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to give up. I don't know if I want to do this. Hmm. I guess. I guess we'll we'll go for it. I I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But. Kind of sucks. Well, there you go. That's what happens. What's the problem here? We need a little bit more oil. Hmm. We need to we need to really work on getting oil. And we can, you know, we can produce it synthetically. We can produce it synthetically within the United Kingdom, so we might as well do that. Um Yeah, it's going to cost a lot of resources to actually build, but There we go. Perfect. All right. Okay. Next thing has to be making sure that the air sky around Western Germany is sorted out. Because quite frankly, we cannot be losing. Like, that is that is so much air superiority that it's not even funny. It's just not even funny. It really isn't. Um, Rhineland. Do we want to move planes into Rhineland? Hmm. Might be worth it. Let's check on Africa, see how Africa's doing. So it seems that the small little force that we brought in from the east is now winning in Africa. This is absolutely astounding. Okay, you're ready for your plan. Montgomery, engage your plan. You have, you have had a really shit time, Montgomery. I really feel sorry for you, buddy. You've had a really, really shit time. But it looks like... The Germans are pulling out. Look at this. Look at this. Australia. Australia made uh, a little bit of an inroad over there, which is rather weird, but alas, it's quite funny. Thank you, Australia, for coming to my aid in my time of need. Stop. Go. There we go. All right. Everybody's doing what they should be doing, I think. Resistance to occupation. Yeah, fuck it. I don't give a shit, though. Uh-oh. All right. We stand together. Yugoslavia is now at war. It's not a great problem for us. It's just a little bit of a problem. Um, fighters in Holland. Let's deploy over Western Germany. Fighters. Ah, here we go. There we go. And start on fighting. 
Uh, we're also going to provide some close air support, I think. Could use the Hector Mark 1, actually. We'll, we'll use the Hector Mark 1 since it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, like 200 or something. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, and you, whenever you arrive, you can be deployed in Western Germany. Yes. That's strategic bombers. What the fuck? There we go. There we go, Western Germany, and provide some close air support. Sort of evens things up a little bit further, but not too much. Turkey wants to send 10 divisions. Yes, please. Air wings with no mission. Get rid of you. We don't need you. Any other stuff? Not really. Um, I do think that the, the balance that we've kind of got is a little bit wrong. Let's deploy these fighters to Western Germany. It's a big gamble. It's a big gamble deploying like way, 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 way more fighters to Western Germany. Although, ah, we'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, you can head to Westphalen. That should sort you out. There we go. Lacking range to cover area completely. There we go. Everybody move over here. Beautiful. Everybody should be covering the area efficiently, and therefore we should have a much more realistic chance of actually getting control of the air above Western Germany, which is fantastic. Meanwhile, in Africa, huh? Yeah, not not so not so great, not so great at all, actually. But hey ho, things are going at least. Maybe not necessarily our way, but they're going. Okay. Hey! Fantastic. Great. So, German Reich has declared war on Iraq. That actually, I don't think that helps them at all. I don't think, in fact, I think, I'm pretty sure that that is a disadvantage to the Germans. Like, why would they do that? They don't have any, I don't think Iran is an ally. No, Iran's an ally of no one. Why would you bother? Yeah, sure, I'll take your three divisions. I mean, yeah, you've just, you've helped feed me. You've helped feed me units. Wait, what? No. Here, you. There we go. Easy as that. Okay, and now it's time to draw an offensive line. The offensive line is going to be up to the border. Great. Let's deploy. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Start making inroads, and we shall start to be successful. We're going to start encircling the enemy as well, which is lovely. Uh, we are low on manpower. Honestly, we've still got one more opportunity to get shit tons of manpower, should we need it. It's not uh, not that much of an issue for us. Uh, air wings with no mission. Fighter standing by. We'll get rid of you, might as well. Just so it doesn't complicate things. The Churchill tank has finished construction. That is really good news. Uh, we probably want to put that into construction straight away. If we change our division designer, you know, we've sort of, we sort of, you know, ended up with, yeah, the heavy tank. Uh, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to upgrade this. We sort of, you know, we've, we've ended up with a, a little bit of a situation where we have just like one division that does everything. I don't know if that's bad or or good or whatever, but it's it's what we're doing, I suppose. Uh, let's put in some artillery. Does that does that work any better? All right, save that. That's gonna fuck around with everything hugely, but hey ho. Uh, if we go to production, we can see that the heavy tank needs to be upgraded to the Churchill. Uh, let's create a little bit of a variant, I suppose. Might as well make this the tank that, you know, fucks with everybody. What would we need? We need 1,000 points for that. Holy shit. Um, let's reduce the engine, I suppose. I suppose the max speed means the least. But I like reliability and reliability and armor. That is what we're prioritizing here. Reliability and armor. 
put the Churchill into production. Thank you very much. At full speed, 100 miles an hour would be lovely. Uh, we need to do something with our military factories. Uh, we are about to get upgraded inventory equipment, I think. Yep, we are 90 days, which is, you know, not too long, but again, not, not too far. Um, the Black Prince, 130 days to research that. That's not too disgustingly, disgustingly long. Jet engines. I really would like the, the technology that would allow us to do this, but hey-ho. Construction speed, plus 10%. Let's, let's take it. I'll take it. Missing equipment production. Uh, artillery, rocket artillery, motorized support equipment. Yeah, we need to update our, we need to update our produ production of everything. We really, really do. And we should probably... Toad anti-air. Do we not have... What? Okay, so artillery. This is improved artillery. We've got artillery here. Well, rocket artillery, we can produce one of. Let's take four factories off here. One rocket artillery. Okay. Uh, regular artillery, I guess. I don't know why. Like we've, do we, are we not producing any artillery? Toad anti-tank. Oh, we're not. We're only producing a anti-air. Do we have any upgraded to anti-air? No, just still toad anti-air. That's a shame. Okay, improved artillery. That's great. Let's get motorized and support equipment. Support equipment. That's great. And motorized. Beautiful. We need to take one more factory away from that there. But honestly, this is not a great setup. This is not a great setup at all. Um, yeah, not, not super happy with, with this, actually. Not super happy with this. I think we'll remove some of these heavy tanks. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's decent enough, I think. I don't think we need any tanks at all. I think that that will be absolutely fine. And it should mean that we don't have to produce as many of, of them. I mean, how many do we need to produce right now? Heavy tank, only 3,200. Okay, that's, that's a, a good reduction, I would say. But um, a lot of support equipment, a lot of, you know... A lot of plans. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll have to wait and see. I also don't know if the Germans are going to try and take back control of the, uh, you know, of the Benelux region, which they very well might try and do. I would not much like them if they tried to do that, but alas, hey ho. How are things going in Europe? I mean, we've almost actually, we've almost, we've almost captured Berlin. Fucking Berlin. Like, we're remarkably far forwards like I, I i don't know what i've done but it's it's great it's really really great it's really 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 great uh is everybody in a division here you're in, you're not in a division you're not in a division okay you need to be equipped to alan brook you need to be equipped to alan brook you need to be equipped to Alan Brook. Just making sure that everybody is equipped to the right person. Boom. There we go. You're in charge of a very, very large amount of people. But alas, I I feel that you should be fine. You should be fine. We just need to wiggle our troops around a little bit. And then we will be good. However, speaking of troops and being good, uh, in Jutland or wherever the, the hell this, this region is, Northwest Germany. No, Jutland is up here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're actually doing pretty darn well. Oh, shit, man. This The Germans have just got so much, so, 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 so much air superiority, like fighters and, and whatnot in this region. It's insane. It is absolutely ludicrous. It is absolutely ludicrous. Why are there people who have not got stuff to do? Let's pause a second, and there you go, there you go, you've now got something to do. We should not be seeing any more of those pesky little red markers. Okay, wow, holy cow, we're actually making inroads into Italy. That is kind of nuts. Well, go Yugoslavia, go Yugoslavia, you are my hero. This is how we do it, this, this is awesome. Uh, air wings with no mission, some fighters that are standing by, uh... 
Did we? I guess we'll equip you over here. Air superiority and uh, thingamabobber. There we go. That's a lot of fighters that we're going to have to manufacture. Ace pilot promoted. Uh, yeah, I need to... I need to... People have been telling me to... Put put ace ace pilots into this into this area, and you're not wrong. It's just that I can never be bothered. So let's go and see wh where the fighters are. Rhineland, let's give you because I've killed an action status. Oh, not being familiar with this type of plane. Which plane are you familiar with? Uh, do we have any fighters that want any fighters that want to be uh, in you? No, you're not keen. We've got fighters in Utland. Now that's the base up here, if I'm not mistaken. So, hey, we can actually assign a fighter. Of Greater London area. Well, let's equip you. There we go. That should sort us out a little bit. I say sort us out. It should improve things slightly. Um, Germans are making a little bit of an advance into Belgium again, which is a little bit of a problem for us. Little bit of a problem for us. Okay, let's let's not be deterred by this. Let's not be deterred by this. And let us select Mr. You, whatever your flippin' name is. We want to get Berlin. That's the goal here, right? That's absolutely the goal here. Um, why is this at a disadvantage to us? Some divisions not in uh, in position that's that's fine that's not a problem uh, but yeah we're we're looking that we're we're, oh, we're looking we're looking that we're uh, we're starting to crumble a little bit we're starting to crumble just a smidgen just a smidgen it's fine though it's fine we're, we're doing okay everybody got a job yet yeah? everybody's got a job fantastic I mean, I'm not worried, but at the same time, I'm a little bit concerned. All right, let's 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 pause it again for a second. Let's go and see what America is researching. At the moment, they're doing the Pearl, Ham Pearl Harbor Gambit. I don't really care about that. What I care about is the fascist menace. And I really, 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 really want them to do this. Because it's going to allow us to uh, call them into our war, which is kind of exactly what we want. Okay, come on. Italy, we need to just fucking kick out of uh, Africa. That's what we need to do. Uh, same with down in Central Europe. We're kind of concerned by that, as in how things are actually going. But we are breaking the German lines. We really are. We really, really are. Apart from over here, where they are absolutely destroying us. Which is a little bit of a problem. Okay, more military factories. Let's put it into motorized infantry, I guess. Fuck it. Air wings with no missions. Uh, what do we have? Do we actually have anything that we care about? Oh, not really. Wow, holy shit. Western Germany is just fucking insane. Do we not? E we don't even have any fighters operating in Western Germany now. Wow, we lost all of our fighters in Western Germany? Jeez Louise. Jesus Christ, that is a lot of fighters to lose. I guess the anti-air must be strong over here. If they're managing to take us out so bloody easily. I mean, that is that is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Absolutely. Um, well, at least in Africa, things go slightly better. We're not exactly winning, but we're... You know, we're putting up, I suppose. Putting up a good fight. No, nobody's making any advance into our our area come on go move 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 on out we want to win we want to win this thing and I hope that we're gonna see some some action soon in uh, in Egypt which is really cool yeah they're, they're retreating troops out they're retreating troops out we should probably let them just like sit sit down and organize a little bit. America's got a couple of divisions around here. Don't know what the hell they're doing with them though. Not sure at all. How are things going in India? Well, 
Germany and Japan are doing quite a number on the rest of the world. Singapore still hasn't fallen. We're doing a damned remarkable job. And very soon we should have uh, a few more coastal forts as well in Singapore. So nothing too much to complain about over there. Uh, probably just equip you there, yeah. We'll just, yeah, we'll take the troops out of this area. We've got any troops over here. We've got an American troop. And we've got a infantry unit. Which is kind of cool. Like a Hong Kong defense force or whatever. Um, rest of the world, China. What? It says we're losing wars. How the hell are we losing wars? I mean, that's just a lie. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Does this look like a loss to you? Look at how fucking far Berlin is away. Berlin is, is fucking right next door at this point. Right next door. I'm part of the fact that we did, you know, sort of lose Belgium a little bit. We did kind of lose Belgium a little bit. But it's not a problem. It's not too much of a problem for us. Uh, we are working on it. As in fixing the problem in Belgium. But same time, I don't know. Uh, you are... I would love it if you came onto my side. I would love it if you came onto my side. Guarantee independence. You want to come onto my side of the war now? Come on, buddy. Come on. Stage a coup for the democratic guy. I don't. I don't think the world needs another coup right now. I think the world needs. I. Don't, I don't know what the world needs. I. I just don't know. I don't know what the world needs, but it needs. It needs something right now. Wow, we've actually managed to get control of the Western German airspace for maybe like a fraction of a second. Did the Germans move fighters somewhere else? Well, whatever the case, it's going to allow us to really, really fuck with them. Like, in a major way. If they don't reallocate fighters elsewhere, then yeah. We've got some close air support that is coming through. We could probably think about moving these fighters to this area. So that we can get a little bit more range. Should be in Holland now, so that's great. Perfect. Um, yeah, as suspected, they seem to have brought some reinforcements. I don't quite know. I don't quite know. It seems to be ping-ponging uh, between us and them, which is kind of nice. Dortmund. I don't know why this is counting as uh, as Dutch territory, right? Because this is should be fucking ours. Should be ours, I tell you. It should be ours. Okay, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Orbit Potato. This has been Hearts of Iron 4. We have been playing as the United Kingdom, and we are trying to up the empire. And uh, I just quickly saw that all of these troops that we've got could probably be equipped to the second guy over here. Oh shit, no. There we go. Assign you there. And then assign you to the front line. Perfect. Or even assign you to the offensive order. Fantastic. Okay, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obita Potato. We've been trying to up the empire. Indeed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.